morning, friends. I, Dr. Rohit Rastoki, Associate Professor of Department of Computer Science and Engineering at ABES Engineering College, Ghaziabad, welcome you all. Today, we are going to discuss about the business data warehousing and data mining. And in this, I am covering the topic data extraction, cleanup, and transformation tools. So this is an important phenomena and the growing field because everywhere the data is increasing in the immense speed. And today we have prices to store the data in an efficient manner, as well as to extract the data and process it in a certain time. Because everywhere the information is required in within fixed amount of time and to process it. So data extraction, cleanup and transformation tools are very much important. As a basic of data warehouse, we should understand that it is a digital storage system. Digital means the data is stored inside the memory. It may be the secondary storage and mass storage devices where data is stored in form of zero and one, the chain of series of zero and one and the data and its address both require particular space. There is an address transformation table, address mapping table through that data is obtained from the right place in less amount of time. The so data warehouse is a digital storage system that connects the harmonizes large amount of data from many different sources. Sources may be any internal or external device. It may be internal or external unit or it may be that data is obtained in a visual manner, in a sound form, in a textual form, or in a graphical form. The purpose of data warehouse is to feed business intelligence where we have to make the strategic decisions and in different high level operations, we always require that the data is analyzed first, pre-processed and then a particular decision or a strategy is made. Also, the results of data warehouse are used for the reporting and analytics purpose and support the regulatory requirements. So companies can turn their data into insight and make smart and data-driven decisions. You can see in different data marts and supermarket and big bazaars, the different sale schemes. You can see the recharge scheme of mobile you can see the different rates of petrol in different states, as well as there is some concession or discount in particular purchase or any kind of attractive and lucrative schemes for the customers. So it is only possible by the particular business intelligence and analysis over the data. And data must be of large amount of form. So data warehouse is a particular managed storage mm -hmm for storing the current and historical data in one place and act as a single source for truth for the organization. So we can understand now that this is an important aspect while maintaining the data and getting the useful information in form of knowledge from the data. Now, after storing the data at a particular place in a proper manner, the different operations are performed on the data warehouse data. There are four main components. First is central database, you can see here. Then ETL operations are performed, extract, transformation, and load tools. Third is metadata, and fourth is access tool that to access the right information at the right time at right place. These components are used to make specified data operations so that a user can get quick results and analyze the data while runtime operations. So here in a diagrammatic form, we can understand the whole process that ETL operations are performed on the pre-processed data. Data is first extracted from the different sources. And in that, uh, mainly we nullify or ignore the less, around, uh, the less important data and we care about the presumably important data. Now on this extracted data, we apply the ETL operation after extraction, the transformation operation is done and load operation on the data warehouse machines or different engines. 
and then again data is transformed into the system supported manner on the right type of configured machine and this important data is processed at the three phases extraction transformation and loading so etl operations are important processes where data is pre-processed is structured and made suitable for the operation for the machine coming to deep in the extraction part extractions is the operation for extracting the information from the show system as i told earlier that the data may be fetched or extracted from various type of resources but it is a very much time consuming task because it may be that particular shows may be slow or the, it may be that the speed is not matching with the capturing machine the show system might be complicated also and it may be poorly documented so these are the some vulnerable problems with which a data warehouse designer has to face challenge so and thus determine which data needs to be extracted and can be difficult the data has to be extracted several times in a periodic manner to supply all changed data to warehouse and keep it up to date so you can see here that extraction is a time consuming and difficult process after that the data is pre-processed and noise as well as missing information and unnecessary and unuseful data is removed. This operation is called cleansing. So cleansing like a particular body, human cleanses their body part or organs, they take bath daily and make themselves ready for the daily operations. Similarly, in data cleansing, data is made suitable for the ETL operation. So we rectify here about the typing mistakes, about the recognizing, recognize the synonyms, as well as rule-based cleansing to enforce domain-specific rules. So different type of methods are operated for the data cleansing. The following examples show the essentials of data cleansing. We can see here that to contact the users or suppliers, we complete the data, the missing values, the typing errors, we may miss the contact address or email address or telephone numbers may be wrong. So these are corrected. And similarly, the data is completed in all aspects. Like for example, you call to a call center and they, you talk about your credit card or debit card and they match whether you are the authentic and right person or not. So they ask about the particular details like your date of birth, your credit card number or bank name or the address and if these data are complete with them they easily match your data and they can cater you for your request so the cleansing is an important process and useful too for the basic operations if a user appears in a database with two or most likely different account numbers it becomes difficult to update the customer information so in cleansing, we usually follow the rule that the unique data must be attached with a particular user. The next operation is transformation operation and transformation is actually the core of the reconciliation phase. So we can see here that the following points must be rectified. For example, there is a company XYZ Private Limited and it may be a limited partnership company. So for individual data, we have to save it in the form of a string. It may be of an in the integer type or it may be a double number, but everywhere we save here as a string data so that it's a structure or the complete information may not be lost. So transformation means to shape our data in a specific manner so that it's original situation or the structure should not change. So these are the references where one can get more information about the basic operations, ETL operations, extraction, transformation, and loading. Loading means to upload the data on the suitable machine, particular configured machine, and in a system supported manner, and operating sub system supported manner. So these are the textbooks and reference books where you can get more information on it. Thank you very much. I'm Dr. Rohit Rastogi, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering at ABES Engineering College, Khazibad.
Thank you to all of you for patience, listening and hearing. And in next classes, we shall more discuss on it about the next phase of this data warehouse and data mining. Till then, stay blessed. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.